Hey guys, welcome back into Bangla IT and in this video we will talk about Unreal Engine Epic Online Service Feature and Account and the Game Service. So what are these things? Okay, lots of you have a question and the game developer have a question that what is this? Bro, what is this? Uh, what is online service from Apex? So lots of users, you know that uh, Google Firebase, you know, the Google Firebase. Yeah, I think you know about the Google Firebase. So what does the Google Firebase do? They give you the authentication like uh, for your app that where you can user can sing up, log in, you find lots of real-time database, cloud messaging and lots of stuff in one place. At the same, Unreal, Unreal Engine also make this thing for the game developers or the game engine. You know only that uh, Unreal, uh, the Google Firebase only support iOS, Android and Web and now Unity also. But when they support Unreal Engine, come on guys, we need Unreal Engine also for Firebase. However, Apex makes this for our Unreal Engine developers. So it's also do the same thing like you find the login and the other school stuff. So you need to just click on get a start with Apex Online Service. Just click on these things and then you need to find like this dashboard okay so at this dashboard you find this the you need to click on the get start okay get start now just click on get start now then it will be automatically sync up with your epic account okay make sure so when it's done you need to just sign, uh, sync up your uh, account with apex uh, online service so when it's done you find like this they give you to set your product or the you know the some picture so you find the epic store so you can make your own uh, you know the like where you can sell your uh, coin game coin okay kind of like like let me give you example like PUBG UC you know the popular game PUBG and they have the UC store where you can buy the UC okay that's the same like the Apex game store then you find the game service the game service is totally based on and uh, it's give your game data uh, at you okay uh, how the player playing or the how your game performance in the world it will be sent you it send the data in your this on um, the game service also it's do the same thing at for analytics but analytics is the more better than the game service and then you find the epic account service the epic account service is similar kind of like google uh, authentication okay the firebase authentication where you can log in and sync up okay that's same and you find more uh, option like this that uh, the this player token it is only for the player profile if you want to see the prof uh, player profile okay you know the player profile here he have his own picture his name and other thing okay so for that you can use the player tick uh, so so how you can use okay lots of you have a question so I just uh, so just search internet lots of time how can you use this so it's very tough okay and if you think that unreal engine uh, you can use by this thing that unreal engine apex online service by blueprint code so it's not possible okay uh, i think uh, they should fix this problem or they should also make this their epic service for the blueprint code okay we want blueprint code okay we lots of uh, developer don't uh, know that the c plus plus so how they set up these things okay after you need to uh, let me give you an example how you need to do just cl click on add a project and you need to just create a product okay after then creating a product uh, you find like this they give you option that download sdk for online so you need to just click on sdk and download so after downloading the file you find like this that is zip file so at the zip file you find after the next thing you find these three folder one is for sdk where you find the tool sdk from apex okay and some leaves and including some dot h files so it's support uh, visual studio and some fine uh, binary dot dll files and also uh, if you check this that third party notification so you can see their agreements at the policies and lots of things here you can see you can if you want you can read oh my god oh my god there's a lots of thing oh my god however i can't read so after then you find like this folder then there you find dot s ln file so the sln file support the visual studio so it's mean that you need to code in c plus plus so brother i don't know c plus plus seriously i don't know c plus plus and let me show you that how it's work so when you first time open it's look like this there you can't find anything you need you find here the achievement authentication with friend leaderboard lobbies modes and p2 pnt what is this i don't know the player storage okay like you can save the, your player profile player can save you need you can function at here then section uh, matchmaking okay so you can make your own game um, multiplayer game by these things and you find the storage for the picture and file up so and a title storage i don't know it's called title storage or not so let me show you an example that how it's work if i open the authentication friend you find lots of like this if you click on stores you find the cpp files okay so it's give you the whole authentication data so you can click by one by one because i don't care about anything so here you find the this that they give you something that simple construct that statistic actor so yeah there's a give lots of thing that authentication file so you need to add here the whole thing that your product id okay you need to add your product id at here. 